Each insect that you're going to try tonight has a really distinct, different kind of flavor. I've made them a bit crunchy for you because it seems like people who have never had edible insects before like crunchy rather than gooey. <laughs> Fried yucca topped with mealworms. Smoked corn custard and wax moth larvae. These were just a few of the bug-infested dishes on display at Brooklyn Kitchen in Williamsburg on Saturday night. Are these raw? Um, those are prepared with the garlic. Uh, right. See, that's, see the that's the first time I've eaten an insect where it has a juice a and a flavor. Mm. A real one. For $85 a plate, guests were served a five-course Mexican-inspired meal with alcohol pairing, prepared by San Francisco-based chef and artist Phil Ross. A lot of people think that insects are, are revolting or disgusting, and when you show people that they're actually quite delicious, it, invert, it inverts all these ideas. And to take something disgusting and show that it's something beautiful, uh, to me, I think that that's the, that's the primary motivation. And they're also just really tasty. The 40 or so diners ranged from Princeton students starting their own bug eating club on campus. So it's very important that the Western attitude is pro-bug to newbies looking for a good time on a Saturday night. Without a doubt, the most extreme yes. eating experience for ever. me, ever, that I ever tried. Cheers, bro. To extreme eaters who may have watched a little too much reality TV. Uh, I, want the, I want that real crazy <laughs> professional level <laughs> I, want, I want some juicy live <laughs> For some at the dinner, the gusanos de maguey, an expensive Mexican caterpillar that must be extracted from agave plants, was the grossest bug on the menu. This one's the toughest one. Why is it tough to win? There's a lot of guts or meat inside of it. Crunch down into it, all of a sudden there's like a sour explosion. The other ones were a piece of cake. Like, they were actually pretty good. This one, it's an acquired taste, I think. At a bug-eating event Ross hosted in San Francisco last year, he witnessed just how weird people could get when they started sampling live insects. Because it's a taboo that has been transgressed, um, people feel that they're wide open to all sorts of other things. And the most surprising aspect that came about was people just starting to make out in the corner, you know, at this uh, natural sciences event, which was not the, um, <laughs> the intended outcome. At the Brooklyn event, there was only a hint of that eroticism. But when live squirming larvae were offered up for sampling, a sense of excitement and anticipation did fill the air. <sighs> There's like a rush, it's like you're jumping off a building or a cliff. I feel like I can accomplish anything. I mean, this is a big feat for me. I mean, I, I guess at the end of the day, it comes down to understanding what, what you're eating because yeah. most of us, even if we eat meat, it, it's, it comes down to we get it from a package and nobody ever wants to know that and you're eating an animal, yeah. Right, and everybody gets grossed out, but you you love your hamburgers, you love everything. Yeah. So what, what about something like this? So it's like, uh-uh. Ah. <laughs> I have a bite and, and it tastes actually good. <laughs>